Welcome back to Press Here. The world's first hard drive was designed not far from here, so too probably will be the last. Research found a way to store quantities of data on an open surface. This was a new concept in machine accounting. IBM created the first commercial hard drive in its Almaden facility in the mid-1950s. Sixty years later, they are everywhere, in computers, of course, but also in TiVos and airplane black boxes. The hard drive's days, though, may be numbered. The most modern of gadgets don't have mechanical hard drives at all. Instead, they use solid-state drives, SSDs, chip memory with no moving parts. It's a sea change in the industry. The world's biggest memory maker, Samsung, is pursuing that solid-state market, putting solid-state drives in computers. They're quieter and more dependable, and in giant server farms, where their low power draw can save millions of dollars. Jim Elliott is vice president of Samsung Semiconductor. Samsung itself, by the way, the largest electronics company in the world. So if this is so revolutionary, if I am a hard drive company or a hard drive investor, should I be worried that this is the end of the line? You know, I think there's plenty of room for both a solid state or flash based storage to coexist with, uh, with hard drive technology as well. Flash is really at the front end of things that are needed to be very fast, very rapid access, very portable type applications. Hard drives will still continue to play a role for, for bulk storage that may not to be uh, accessed as quite as quickly or speedily. You are smaller than, than, hard, than uh, hard drives now. I mean, the, the, the big hard drive is always going to be bigger and less expensive than the biggest of flash drives. Will that ever change? You know, I think what's interesting about that is flash, the, the actual size from a form factor position. I mean, you look I at I meant the, from a storage point of from view. From a storage but yeah, point yeah, of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if I had to store a, a, a huge amount of data, I would yeah. definitely go with a hard drive. Definitely with a hard drive Small, for a huge I'd amount of flash. data. Uh, except yeah. now but will things, that change? Now that things are going to the cloud, you're seeing a lot more devices going to the, the cloud storage, sure. for example. You know, this year, uh, laptops are going to be outshipped by tablets and smartphones for the first time ever. So that's a key paradigm shift in the industry right now. And I think what you'll see is that thin and light form factor will continue to proliferate, so the amount of storage you may need at the client level, what you take with you may be less and less. You can store a lot more in the cloud remotely. And that represents a great opportunity for a company like yourselves. As we do go to those smaller form factors, as mobile phones and smartphones and tablets proliferate. That's correct. And again, it's all about that portability, that usability, that user experience that you're going to get. You know, smartphones and tablets have really redefined the, the category of, of portability, portability and, and this really plays right into the value proposition of NAND flash. And once you've used a, a tablet and it goes on instantly and then you fire up your laptop and you say, oh, come on. That's right. <laughs> so yeah. the days of, wait, of turning the, the laptop on and going to get a cup of coffee are over because <laughs> using a, an SSD, you're going to get that instant on capability. You're going to have a 2 to 3x improvement in terms of your performance. So your boot time, your shutdown time, if you're a gamer, you're, you're copying lots of files, it's going to be much, much quicker. If I'm a laptop maker, is there any reason not to be using flash other than cost? I mean, cost will come down as, as each year goes by. Is there, is there some inherent advantage to hard drives? You know, again, I think flash, is, it's really going to boil down to most of the innovation that's going to take place in the notebook space is going to be around this thin and light category. Yeah. Yeah, I've got to make room for a, hard, for a hard drive. Right. I don't have to make room for flash. Absolutely. Not so much. So you can take up all that extra space you're going to save going from a hard drive to a flash-based SSD. You can use that for a bigger battery. You can have a smaller form factor. Again, you're going to extend your battery life, which could be the difference of having a, making that, that battery or the laptop last on that flight from SFO to, to Boston. But really, it boils down to the user experience. Once you've experienced using a laptop with an SSD, you really don't want to go back. It's kind of like flying in first class and then having to go back to coach. I wouldn't know. And that's one of the reasons why Samsung are one of the first companies, isn't it, to come out with the Chromebook in the next couple of months because it's got SSD, it's about being kind of almost instant on, not taking terribly long to, to fire up and get going and using the cloud. That's right. So again, I think the cloud as a business model is a key paradigm shift that we're seeing in, in, this, uh, in this industry, as is this, this instant-on type flash storage that is enabling smartphones, tablets, and all these other sort of disruptive new consumer electronics devices. And I think the, the notebook manufacturers are going to step up their game and really follow suit to have that tablet-like experience. So you think the Chromebook so, could be a game changer then in that laptop market because of this? I would say the, the cloud in general will continue to play a role in, in sort of changing or being a game changer in terms of how people utilize 
uh, PC technology, laptop technology, tablet technology, and, and how they store and where they store that and access that data. There is a point that the server market, too, could come into a, a mm -hmm. need for Flash. There is so much less power used, and it, 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 it's a huge issue for the huge server That's farms right. is, is the tremendous amount of power That's that right. they use. So I think the value proposition for SSD in, in the server data center space is even more robust because what you find is the performance in the data center server is more than 100 times faster than, than a hard drive. At the same time, it's using less than half the power. So you put those two together, and now you've got more than a 200x performance per watt. If, I, if I'm a server farm, that actually, that cost inflection's already happened. If I'm, if I'm a consumer, I might not pay for the extra, for flash, if it's, if it's significantly more money. If I'm, if I'm a huge server farm, the cost savings may cover my, my switch to flash? That's right, so we like to say it's like an instantaneous break even. So now all of a sudden, the, the, if you're a data center administrator, the, the key point is how do I expand my data center without expanding my data center? Right. So how do I service more users without having to grow my power budget or grow my physical footprint? And that's why SSDs are becoming so disruptive now in, in the data center infrastructure. You know, the key here now is data center con energy consumption in the U.S is expected to be between 2 and 3% of total U.S. energy consumption this year. So I think this is a, becoming a very big concern on, on multiple levels, and I think SSD and flash technology is really going to play a very green role in sort of greening out these things. Ben, we have about a minute. Uh, so, just, right well, what, so for the viewers that don't uh, know the nuances of hard drives, what, what makes the SSD so much more efficient in terms of power usage, and what, what makes it so much more efficient than the standard hard drive? Sure, so the fundamental difference is there's no moving parts in, in, in an SSD or in flash, as, as Scott mentioned. Uh, and our, uh, uh, HDD in the data center could be spinning at 15K RPM, so hot that you can't even touch the surface Times without burning your hands. hundreds and hundreds. Of that, that's exactly. what makes a lot of the heat. All lining all these up versus NAND flash, no moving parts, virtually no heat, so there's no cooling and it's a much, much more uh, robust value proposition for that reason. Jim Elliott is the uh, Vice President of uh, Samsung Semiconductor. Thanks for briefing us this morning. Press here, we'll be back in just a minute.